Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Michael Burhan from NerdGenius.com and I am here with... Uh, Benny Hill, uh, I'm the producer and uh, director on uh, Cube 2. The Benny Hill? The Benny Hill, yeah. The Benny Hill. I don't have the same theme tune. Oh, <laughs> do you have like scantily clad women that you follow around oh, everywhere? Fortunately not. <laughs> Sad times. So Benny, tell me a little bit about the game that you guys are developing currently. Cool, so Cube 2 is a first person puzzle adventure game. Um, um, it's essentially, uh, if you like something like Portal uh, or Portal 2, it's a similar sort of game in the sense of um, you're trying to move through this space to solve kind of like uh, lots and lots of kind of different puzzles mm -hmm. in order to you know progress the kind of story. Um, in Cube 2, you play as a character called Millie, who's an archaeologist who's woken up on this alien planet and she doesn't know how she's got there. And when she wakes up, she's got this strange exosuit, uh, these gloves. And what these gloves are, uh, they have this kind of uh, property that allows her to manipulate the alien structures that are around her. So you have different cute colours that you can place into the world, uh, blue, red and green. And what these have are different kind of properties that when combined together form puzzle solving. So oh, awesome. Blue cubes are like uh, launch pads, so when you stand mm -hmm. on them, they'll fire you into the air. Yep. Uh, red cubes are like platforms you can pull out to create ledges to land on or to kind of interact with other things in the world. And then you have green cubes, which are uh, essentially like detachable like cubes that will fall off the wall and then interact with other things within the kind of uh, within the world. So, so does the basically the game itself have? Um, like tutorials and stuff that will show you how to kind of get Absolutely. into the game world. Absolutely. So again, similar to kind of Portal in the sense we introduce each new mechanic uh, um, uh, quite uh, gradually through the experience. So, Brilliant. Um, like the first thing that you'll learn to use is the blue cube and all you need to do is place it onto the floor and stand on it and it'll bounce you into the air and then slowly we'll introduce the red cube and you'll start like pulling them out of walls to use them as platforms and then when the green cube gets introduced you start learning how well the green cube can interact with the blue cube, it can get pushed by the red cube and then as the game progresses, you find these new technologies in the world that suddenly start making the puzzles a lot more kind of complex and difficult to solve. So in terms of the game itself, do you have to play the first in order to actually be in terms of the second? No. So one of the things we're really keen on with Cube 2 was to ensure that um, if you hadn't played the first game, because it came out quite a while ago, in game term anyway, like 2011s, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that you know, wouldn't have played that kind of game back in the day. Make sure you download it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's super cheap, I think, at the moment. I think there's like uh, discounts and stuff on Cube 1. Uh, and it's a couple of hours well worth kind of playing. So, um, um, But Cube 2 is a separate experience. It's, it's part of the same story, yeah. but um, you play as a different character in a different uh, kind of scenario. So you can play them in any order, really. You can play Cube 2 and then you can go back and play Cube 1, or you can play Cube 1 and go back and play Cube 2. Great. So in terms of release date, do you have a, a date official? It's out now. So it came out last mo uh, this month, um, um, uh, March 13th. You can get it on PC, Xbox One, um, uh, and uh, PS4. On PC, find it on Steam, Humble Bundle, um, uh, sorry, the Humble Store, GOG, uh, Green Man Gaming, wherever you like to play the game up from. So. so is there any uh, plans on like a Switch port at any point? Uh, we're looking at it at the moment. We've got a dev kit we're playing around with, uh, you know, getting it running. Uh, one of the key things is to ensure that it runs um, as best as possible so that you know we want to you know make sure it's the best mobile experience we possibly can kind of create but we plan on just uh, supporting kind of q2 regardless so we have a season pass you can pick up on steam at the moment and um, which has um uh, at the moment you get a free glove skin which is the classic gloves from the first game um, you, you get um you'll get like two puzzle packs that are coming out a little bit later on as well um, and you also get the soundtrack by david Housen, who did the music for thomas was alone in volume as well which is really cool brilliant um also will there be any plans to like uh, get it make it like rift or vive compatible uh, not at this moment. Um, we're, 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 if we were to do something in VR, I think we'd like to make like a, a unique experience for that, rather than try and port over what we've got. There's lots of bouncing around, and, and there's problems, uh, you know, maybe with kind of motion sickness that we have to solve in that. So at the moment, we're focusing on other platforms, um, and we're focusing on supporting the game through uh, downloadable content and also free updates as well. So we're interested in stuff, um, you know, uh, that might bring the community together to kind of create content. Brilliant, guys. So make sure you pick up a copy. It is out now. Grab it with Cube One as well if you want to basically go for some backwards compatibility. And this has been Michael Burhan, of course, letting you know that we've got gameplay. Have you? So, what do you think of the video? Did you like it? If you did, make sure you click on that bell so you can like, comment, subscribe, and share. And also, speaking of video games, you can check out my experience at Anvio with the awesome Bex Trista from Trista Bytes. You can check it out on her channel or by clicking on the link below it for a huge 4K experience. 
And as always, stay tuned to nerdgenius.com for more videos where you can see my rather British reviews, movie files, m other interesting EGX Res experiences, and much, much more. So, I'll see you in the next one, guys.